Hi, Shelly. Hello. Welcome to Seattle. <laughs> Thank you. I can already smell the spices right off the bat. Yeah, this is a Jabina market where we sell most of our spices for others to take home and make their own. Marta emigrated at a young age to support her siblings back in Ethiopia. Now Menge, the youngest of them, is by her side. Together they co-own Jebena Cafe, which has become the hub of a growing Ethiopian community in North Seattle, offering authentic Ethiopian cuisine through their restaurant and their grocery store next door. The main ingredient to make injera, Ethiopian bread, is uh -huh. called the te flour, the tiniest grain in the world. Here is your starter. It is the yeast, uh, we call it ersho. So this is a batter that you, you make ahead yes. and you pull from it That's as you right. need it, like a sourdough. Yeah. Is this something that everybody makes it at home? Everybody. That, that? You eat everything with injera bread. Uh -huh. And uh, the next process is called absi. We're gonna take from the same ingredient after two days or three days, and then we're gonna mix up with the hot water. That's gonna go add up to the one already ready and rised up. Love how it gets flavored by its own self. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. After three days, this yeah, is how it, it looks. Yeah. It's like a pancake batter. That's right. right. Ready for the first batch? That was amazing. Yeah. In the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Just. <laughs> You can smell that fermentation coming off exactly. of that. Can you give me your hands? Into my hands. Right See, I got, I got it right here. All right. I got it right in the palm. It's enough. It's enough. It's okay. You can come back later. <laughs> Don't worry. Keep on going. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. What we have missing is the sauces that goes on the top of it. It's called the uh, fish tips tilapia. This has some garlic, some ginger, and salt in it. Garlic, and add your butter to it. Our butter is clarified with about five, six different kinds of spices. Beautiful. Boiled together. Tomato and jalapenos. Color is beautiful. It, this is traditional, so you cut piece off. There you go. Whoa, I love the tartness of the injera. It's like eating sourdough, then all that spices, it's so good. You also learned to cook from your mother, Martha? Yeah? Yes. yes. <laughs> Even though I left at the young age, I learned it from her. This is a called the kitfo, the ground beef with jalapeno onions, some cardamom, some chili, and the clarified butter. It has to be mixed pretty well. Gursha, Gursha, Gursha. This is Gursha. You show the person that you care about. It means, let me feed you. Mom was, um, she was just keep coming to you. <laughs> Five of your bites in one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish mom was here to do that. Gursha, Gursha. We are in between 50 to 60,000 Ethiopians. In Seattle. Seattle. Uh, I know the people who live from Canadian border all the way, all the way to Portland. That is spread out so huge. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now, there is a lot of Ethiopians there coming. Yeah. yeah. They're supporting us so good. What was your journey from Africa to here? She is the first one to get out of the country about 27 years to Greece, from Greece to Canada. So from Canada, you came down to Seattle? Yes. When he it came from Ethiopia. She was too young when she left the country. So it was a ton of responsibilities, uh, the next mother, and also helped the rest of us grow. I get out, I'm the last one, Marta is the first one. In between there is four. I got here back in uh, 2011 and started by working two, three jobs in America. Casinos, Office Depot, <laughs> working on other companies. So after a few years in Seattle, you guys had an idea to open up a restaurant. I was. Yeah? She was working a couple of Ethiopian restaurants in Seattle. As yeah. a waitress. Oh, you was working in the restaurant. I was pushing, Martha, you can open your own. You can own one. The same year, I was start working with her. Uh, me and Martha had a unique uh, experience. The, the same year, I was start working with her. I was diagnosed with uh, brain tumor. The situation got better quick. 
about a year, a year and a half later that uh, Martha, Martha Stern. <laughs> A brain tumor for me. <laughs> oh, through the whole time that you were going through treatment and all of that, we, Gerbena Cafe, we do. still yes. yet going. Yes. Never been closed. Never I mean, been it closed. Was, you guys started off with the restaurant, but next door there is a market, but that wasn't, right. that wasn't always there. People not coming only for our food, just also the support. We can say thank you for the, our, our customers by showing them how to make a little bit of Ethiopian home. Oh, so right. the spices, all with them. That's right. the spices, <laughs> everything that you have here, we have it in there. Now the restaurant is, there's lines out the door. Oh my God, there's a lot of good people in here. I see why. The proof is in the pudding, as what they say. Yeah. yeah. We do everything from our heart. That always pays off. Hey, that looks beautiful! Wow! Yeah. Hey, 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 that's right! All right, yeah!